tonight's beer review, Great Lakes Burning River. Named after the 1969 burning of the Cuyahoga River, our American Paleo combines a citrusy Cascade hop flavor with a fruity assertiveness. In keeping with the Bavarian purity law of 1516, this beer is traditionally brewed with all natural ingredients, barley, hops, yeast, and water. No chemicals or preservatives are used. 6% alcohol by volume and best served at 45 degrees. I just took this out of the fridge a little bit ago, so it should definitely be around 45 degrees. And the appearance of this beer, if you can see, is a, uh, a golden color, a very gold, uh, kind of, I would say, dark gold color. Uh, looks pretty good in the glass, a lot of carbonation. The head is definitely sticking around. It hasn't gone away yet. Um, my battery actually died on my camera, so I restarted this review, and the head is, uh, is still sticking around. It was about one finger when I poured it, and there's also some lacing um, where I took a drink already when I was doing my uh, uh, review. So I already gave this a taste, but let's go ahead and uh, give it a taste again. Definitely really floral. A very good taste. I love, love the taste of this beer so far. Very floral taste. You get more of the citrus in the nose, but you also do get the floral, a lot of the floral hops in this. And they say it's uh, a fruity hop flavor or a citrusy, fruity hop flavor, but I, you know, I, I would almost say that's false advertisement. I'm getting a lot more floral notes in this beer than a, uh, than the uh, citrus notes or the fruit notes. It's a great beer. I don't get a lot of the malt. Uh, the alcohol is obviously not there. It's only 6%, which is, is pretty decent for a, a, a pale ale. Let's go ahead and get another taste. Yeah, definitely big floral notes. You maybe get some of the some of the malt in the backbone, but nothing really sweet. Uh, again, I just want to say dank. I don't know why. That's just maybe what Great Lakes puts out to me in, in a good way. Though, definitely a good way. I'm probably going to review this beer close to uh, what Beer Advocate said, an A minus, uh, maybe even an A for a pale ale because this this is a very good pale ale. I love that it's to me it's unique because you don't get a lot of pale ales that have a lot of floral uh, taste to them. So this is very good, awesome beer. Also want to give a shout out to uh, Beer Geek Nation guys. Um, been watching some of their San Diego Beer Week videos and their uh, some of them are quite funny. The first one I saw, uh, they were doing a review of a, uh, a beer from, uh, I think it was Ballast Point, maybe uh, uh, some kind of stout with some, some curry in it, I guess, and that was a pretty funny review. And also uh, the beer, uh, Rare Beer rare beer Breakfast, yes, it is hard to say. Uh, they even say that in the video, which uh, it was a good video as well. So if you haven't checked them out, check out Beer Geek Nation. Um, you can get on there. There's numerous guys that review beer. And there's also a YouTube channel that's just called Beer Geek Nation. He reviews beers. Uh, his name escapes me right now, but he has a really good job reviewing a lot of really good beer. So uh, give them, uh, you know, check them out. They just went to San Diego Beer Week. Uh, looks pretty fun. Um, so definitely check out. I got more reviews coming soon. I'm gonna get into some bigger beers that I have. I have some stouts waiting and some barrel aged beers in my fridge that I've been waiting to get to. So definitely probably get to those soon since it's getting colder in Ohio. It's probably around 30 degrees uh, tonight, so it's not too bad, but it's uh, it's getting there. So guys, uh, until next time. If you know, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see all my reviews. Cheers.